So what's the real way to install carpet strips successfully? In this video, I'm gonna break down several strategies. What's cracking? It is Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. And yes, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a couple different ways to install carpet tack strips in different scenarios. So whatever your particular scenario is, you'll be successful at getting it done. So first things first, we got the traditional plywood floor here. Super easy to work with, no hurdles whatsoever. Just line your tack strips along the wall, set them about a quarter inch back from the baseboard and work your way out. Basically, just tracing the room with the strips. That's all there is to it. Work your way all the way around, just twist and turns, line them up everywhere you go. Quarter inch back or fingertip space and that's it. So we're up on a heat register here. You just stop right up against it and then line up your next piece right in front of it here. Go ahead and snap that, get it right in front of it quarter inch back or so tap it down boom 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 good to go no need to hire a carpet installer you know what you're doing now go ahead and get your next section cut now you can use snips for that but we are total hacks over here we just smack it with a hammer and that's how we cut our tack strips to move forward successfully without lugging tools all around with us because carrying snips is a ton of work obviously let's speed things up here so different scenario we have tack strip down already but we're using a pretty beefy carpet so we're gonna back it up with another piece of tack strip, basically reinforcing the hold of it when we stretch it up. Two layers of tack strip will hold much better and grab it when we throw a mean stretch against this here. Now here is a fun fact. Members of my team, I'm not naming anybody prestige, likes to stop and start around all the door jams. Like he just skips over this because he doesn't want to do it. So I got to go around and cut little pieces around all the door jams so whenever you're doing this make sure you trace the walls completely not just the super easy walls and then walk away acting like you accomplished something don't get me wrong that's my homie but he needs to do this strip around the door jams here boom 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 everything's good There's a little better view for you there so you can see what's good see look at that you stop right there why would you stop right there let's get a little piece in there so when you stretch the carpet on it it's going to stick in the proper fashion get a little piece there little nail boom 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 it's a wood floor, so super easy to work with. If it's concrete, it could be a little bit disagreeable at times. So you want to have ample concrete nails with you to go ahead and reinforce any sections that aren't holding. But like I said, all the video we're covering right now, it's nothing but some form of wood floor, which makes life super simple in being successful at lining all this up. Go ahead and angle them around the door jam. Some guys like to cut each individual piece around the door jam. Oh, not me two maximum around it doing three is now i'm in a dungeon i'm in saw's basement right now and he said if i carpet it he'll let me go he's like you want to play a game you go ahead and carpet this basement i'm gonna let you go and i was like boom there's a lot of that going on in cleveland too so you got to be careful out here so we got the uh old vct flooring here we got the black wall super sketchy super scary looking we're just working our way around this is a concrete subfloor though so you got to smack those nails and make it count Smash them down and then move forward. Go ahead and go right there. Boom, boom, boom. Swing like a beast. Make sure it grabs and then just grab the tack strip. Give it a little wiggle to make sure it's holding and you'll be good to go. If it's not holding, go ahead and add additional nails until it does hold properly. Or if it's just horrific concrete, then you could glue it in with products like PL400, uh, Liquid Nails, AC44, one of my favorites. Whatever power adhesive you need, glue it to the floor walk away for 24 hours, let it cure, come back and do your install. And that is this segment on installing tax strips in random scenarios here. I hope this helped. Comment below with any questions. I'll see you on the next.